All right, this is going to be an Etsy shop update. This is Marcia. Thank you for joining me here at Markets of Sunshine today. And I have two Etsy shops. One is handmade and everything to do with junk journals, care packages, cash envelope system. That's my main areas of focus. And then we have the vintage shop, which is all about gifts, collectibles, home decor, supplies of every sort to do with sewing and crafting. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the newest fabric additions to the shop. And this is a beautiful, heavy, almost really canvassy kind of thickness um, of the cotton. Very heavy duty, um, tight weave, and I don't know if you can see I'll hold it up to the light. <clears throat> you can see through it. So if you can see my hand, if I can get the other arm out of the way. All right. So if you can see my hand there, move my fingers around a little bit. Okay, so if you hold it up to the light, like I said, your hand is right there close up. You can you can see the shadow, you know. And so it but it's a nice, it's a very nice fabric. I wouldn't make it I wouldn't use it for masks. But any other crafting, it would be beautiful on um, home decor, junk journal, covers, anything to do with your crafting, um, sewing, pillow cover, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. And as you can see, it's a very vintagey, even um, pattern, very um, cottage, shabby chic uh, project would be beautiful. So there's um, two yards, I believe, of this. Yes. All right, so that's the first option. And it's already, well, not already. By the time you see this video, <laughs> it should be in the shop because it takes a while to upload the videos and all that kind of stuff. All right, so it will be in the shop today. I will put it that way, which is Friday, December 4th, I think it is. Um, okay, now this pet fabric, of which I had the cat fabric, and I had now the dog fabric. I don't know, I don't think I did the video of the cat fabric. Um, so, but oh, it's so cute. Oh, just so many adorable little canines here. Yorkie, my little favorite Yorkie. I love Yorkies. Okay, so everything you see, here's a cute, two little Yorkie pictures, the terriers, and the uh, what was that little show that you used to be anyway? Um, Scotty Dogs, Westies. So very, all very terrier. This is like definitely terrier. Small breed dogs in this. And then the cat fabric is absolutely adorable. So all Siamese, your tabbies. So you can check that one out. The cats are already in the shop. And then, oh, here's the kitties. I thought I had the kitties here. All right. And so here you go. You can get to see all of the kitties. We had a kitty that looked just like this. Her name was Bubbles. She was precious. The only cat I ever loved. Our first cat was nice too. His name was Buttercup. He was a Persian mix. And so he was small. Orange, orange and white patches. Very thick, fluffy fur like a Persian. That face of a Persian, and um, kind of like this right here, actually. That was our that was our Buttercup. This was our Bubbles, and she lived to be sixteen. Our Yorkie, the second Yorkie, lived to be sixteen. Our first one, um, Buttercup, he lived to be. I'm thinking about maybe fifteen or sixteen too. He lived quite a long time, and um, he just disappeared one day. And we had a feral cat issue in the neighborhood, and I did not even know it. He used to fight with cats. I didn't know they were feral cats. And um, he just up and disappeared. And then I was talking to one of, I happened to see the animal control guy one day, and I said, hey, you didn't happen to see an orange and white, um, which, of course, I said, our pet. <laughs> but he was a feisty little booger. And, um, but you could tell the difference. I mean, you can tell a difference between a feral cat and a, from what I've seen in our neighborhood. 
Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm getting off on a tangent, but anywho. Bubbles, she died of a ripe old age right here in our backyard. But poor Buttercup, I don't know what happened to him. He just disappeared. I was so upset. Anyway. Um, and then the next fabric up for options. That's why the title says Etsy Vlog. So when I do the day in the life of an Etsy entrepreneur now and restock, I'm going to add the word vlog. So just so that you know, vlog is video for blog. So, you know, blog is where you write about, which is supposed to be about your life, but that's not all true. I don't know where they came up with that. But anyway, um, product reviews, any kind of a thing can be on a blog. So I won't bore you with all those details. But anyway. So this is, um, so a vlog, when I say vlog in the title, know that I may venture into stories, you know, of my life. And of course, I had to talk about my pets. Who doesn't talk about their pets? So if you love pets, you'll understand. You'll understand completely. This is a very slippery polyester type of fabric. It's pink with black polka dots, as you can see see here the picture I did so I don't know that's why I want to that's what's the beautiful thing about doing the videos is then it gives me the opportunity to show you the fabrics and how they flow and the really the colors the sheerness of it I'm trying to get to a layer that I can have more to show you the same of the other one you know when your hands right up against it through the light you can just see the shadow of the hand. But this is really nice. There's two yards of this. So two yards of all the fabrics that I've shown you so far. Basically everything is two yards in the shop unless I decide to keep a yard, which I do tend to do sometimes. <laughs> so, but so, there are ones that I only had a yard of. And these all came from an estate sale that my mother um, got and gave them all to me. And they were actually her next door neighbors and um, the lady went into a nursing home, and so her, all of her sewing and all that kind of a thing, and they were stored in Rubbermaid containers. I have all the original Rubbermaid containers, so I keep them in a climate-controlled, dust-free, pet-free, odor-free, smoke-free, the whole nine yards. There may be stains and imperfections due to storage, and basically most of these are from the early 2000s, 1990s, 80s, 70s, going back. And I have some of these, if they still have the uh, receipt pinned onto them, or like even from fabric stores in our area here in Central Florida that went out of business. So I, I can gauge by that how old some of these are. And uh, then uh, the receipts that were uh, very old and brittle and patinaed, um, I know based on that how old they were. So there's just, there's just different things. Sometimes there was a date, but not always. Okay, now, we're heading on our 300 subscriber giveaway. We're at 210 subscribers, so yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate everyone supporting me here on my channel. It really means so much to me because you guys are not numbers to me. I want us to be a community. I want us to be friends. And I know it's not friends in the same manner that you have your bosom buddy, high school friends, neighbor friends, family friends, that's not, that's not what we mean. And I'm sure you understand that terminology. But being friends on the internet, social media, YouTube, means you just support that person by showing up, liking the video, subscribing to the channel, sharing it on your social media. That's how you become friends. And we support each other. So thank you so much for all that you do. I go onto other channels and I comment and I like their videos. I subscribe to their channels. So we're a community here that supports each other. Um, th there shouldn't be competition. You shouldn't be trying to squelch or prevent the, uh, new channels from growing. So I go onto channels that are have, you know, thousands and tens of thousands, hundred thousand subscribers, and I still support them. So even if I get to be a big channel like that, I will still take the time and go to my favorite channels and support them. And I do look for new channels. I, I see a lot of ladies coming on in the um, crafting and the Etsy fields that have new shops or new channels. And I go to their videos and I like them and I take the time to comment on theirs. And so um, I appreciate it when someone does that back for me. So thank you so much. So 
Speaking about that, take a second to hit the little like button. Doesn't cost you anything to do all of this. Hit the subscribe button, hit that share button, share me on your anywhere in social media that you can. Pinterest. Pinterest would be a huge, 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 huge gift for you to do that for me because Pinterest is um, really a great place for crafting type of things. So anything to do, and then Etsy is a big place that people go to. Um, not so much Twitter, but Facebook, yes. Instagram, yes. And Pinterest, yes. Those are all wonderful places. And I don't even know what other uh, channels, uh, TikTok, I don't know, where, all these things, you know, I'm not on all those other platforms. So, since we're coming up on the 300 subscribers, and I'm hoping by the end of December we should hit 300, which I find, if you would help share, we will certainly get there faster. So, one person will receive a $30 store credit to my handmade shop, Markets of Sunshine. Okay, because I'm really trying to go... My goal here, I'm completely transparent with you. I have been selling on Etsy since 2008 with my handmade shop. Okay, and to really get your shop taking off on Etsy, you have to hit the thousand sale mark. And I'm at 813 in my handmade shop. And I'm my vintage shop, which is called Pioneer Fundraiser, and um, that's just a, both of my shops are to help as a supplement and hopefully one day be able to retire my husband who is going to be 69 this month and um, I'm 57 and I have Lyme disease and it's um, a autoimmune disorder. So anyway, and so, but the poor man has had to work so hard to keep me alive for the last 16 years and so many sacrifices that he has made and slaved and worked long hard hours to pay for my medical costs to just keep me alive literally to just to truly honest and truly and I'm not saying this to get you know a pity party going or anything like that but I just I'm saying from my heart and to be completely transparent why I have my channel and what I'm doing and I do my crafting and I do my Etsy because I'm stuck at my house 24 7 and that was before the pandemic <laughs> So when the pandemic hit, it was, it was stressful, you know, because now you could catch something, you know, and die from it. You know, it's not like the flu. Um, <clears throat> and anyway, so um, I, crafting and my Etsy is what keeps me happier. I'm already happy, but happier, sane, uh, busy. So when I get my, all, you know, normal daily routines done. Um, so back in the day before... Lime, which is like I said, since 2000 and end of 2004. At one time, I did, uh, I was a demonstrator for so many different party companies, home party companies. And being an entrepreneur and being somebody who is a salesperson is in my blood. Okay, I've seen like, if you ever watch that genealogy roadshow um, and the finding your roots. I love those kind of shows. Um, I did all my genealogy searches and um, my family on my father's mother's side came here on the Mayflower way, 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 way back. <laughs> and um, I used to, I used to think, oh, grandma's just telling us stories, you know, a story. And so I finally said to her one day when I was, I don't even know how old I was, maybe a teenager. She was the type, she came from the old school as children are to be seen and not heard. So we could sit there and listen to the stories, but heaven forbid if we spoke up and said anything. I mean, she would give you a look that would just say, oh, I'm sorry, Grandma. And you would just sink back into the couch, into your chair. But anyway, but I love my, I love my grandmother. Um, so she would tell the stories about how, you know, your ancestors came over on the Mayflower. And so I finally, you know, when I got into my teen years and she kept talking about these things and the lady was not, she didn't have dementia or Alzheimer's. And I said, Grandma, are you, is that true? Or did, did our family really come over on the Mayflower? And she said, child, <laughs> do you think your grandma lies? And I was, so I was like, oh my goodness, you know. So I'm like, no, 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 Grandma, that's not what I'm saying, you know. And she's like, everything I say is the gospel truth, you know, so help me God and all that kind of thing. 
So um, I said, okay, so then when we finally could go to on Ancestry.com, sure enough, I'm doing searches, and I got connected with one of my cousins, and they live in Palatka, Florida, and their last name is Johns, and they have a whole history of the family going back to England, and a Sir William Johns of something or another, and then the whole, of course, the Daughters of the American Revolution, and you yada, 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 you name all that kind of thing. Very big on that side of the family. So I was like, I was so proud. I was like, Grandma was telling the truth. And so anyway, by this point, she was, you know, dead and gone. So I wouldn't, I couldn't go back and say, hey, Grandma, I found out you were telling the truth. So um, my grandfather on my mother's father, he was um, very much, he was a hardworking man. He had his own business, lawn mowing. And then in his older years, his wife was um, a nurse. She was the head of the surgical department. And every surgery I had as a child, up to my 23rd year's birthday, she was the nurse in the room with me, and it was so wonderful. Uh, so I got the best of treatment, especially because, especially the last surgery, <laughs> the nurses came in and I said, Grandma! And they stopped in their tracks and they said, She's your grandmother? And they looked at her and go said, We didn't know you had any children. We were step. And she's like, these are my stepdaughter's children, but we think of them as, I think of them as my own. And they said, oh my, I mean, you would not have believed it. I mean, those nurses <laughs> went on and she was the sweetest. I'm talking the sweetest, soft-spoken, you know, just like you would expect for a surgical, you know, nurse. Kind lady, you know, everything was sweetheart, honey, baby, you know, that kind of thing. And, uh, so they're, and they're like, oh my goodness. And then the, you know, it gets announced to the whole little room I was in right there. This is, this is Lorraine's granddaughter, everybody. So when I came to, <laughs> I got really, I got the best treatment anyway. So anyhow, I'm telling you. And then my uncle, who was uh, my mother's brother, he's still alive. Not was, he is. And he was an entrepreneur. So he had his own fencing company. He had his own antique store. So it's in my blood. It just runs in my blood. And my mother was very much into um, selling for these party stores because she was, you know, she was trying to make a little bit of money, trying to be able to afford some of the things she wanted to do herself. And so she has tons of Sarah Coventry jewelry I would love to have. Um, but it has that old agey smell. I don't know if people like that. I don't know how to get that off of it. So I never have listed that in my Etsy shop. So anyway, so I got into all these things, Tupperware, Avon, home interiors and gifts, and 31, and I think even one of the chocolate companies. I don't remember which one it was now, Dove, I think it was. Anyway, so um, just so I can get the discount. Oh, yes, and we cannot leave out stamping up. Okay, that was my, that was my last one. So what I'm going to do is when we reach 300 subscribers, not only am I going to give the $30 store credit, but I'm also going to um, gift these 31 gift. Okay, this is a wallet. All right. And these are all new. I did not use them. <clears throat> these were just things on their, you know, sales that were available and all that kind of a thing. So this is a... Uh, I don't know if you could even, if there's, does anybody even have a cell phone small enough like this anymore? So anyway, but you could just use it for your, you know, cash. There's a little pocket here, your cards, your coins, you know, like that. So it's got the nice little strap and then your driver's license can go here. Okay. And then it zips, closes. And the same thing. This one has a nice little Velcro thing here. So you can put stuff in here. It expands a little bit like that. Nice identification, the zipper part, and then that zips up. And then here, this one opens up completely. Okay, so again, has pockets. This nice, you know, hot pink. And then the little, this is um, quilted black, white, and pink. Nice little coin purse here. And then this closes up. 
Okay. So, um, how this is going to work is of the 300 subscribers that I, once, once we hit that, then the little things, I always ask for the same things. Subscribe to my channel, share and comment on the giveaway videos, so this one could be a start, and then um, like the videos, and that's all you have to be doing, and then when I actually have the uh, drawing is on my blog, which is marketsandsunshine.com, with a raffle copter entry form. That's how I do the drawing. So I have a blog post, and then you can share the blog post, you can comment on the blog post if you want, or you can actually share the video here on YouTube um, and comment. But you have to be a subscriber here, you have to like the videos, comment, and then enter with the, with the entry form. And so uh, I'll be giving away one of these to each of the people, depending on how many enter. And then this is a pouch. If you are familiar with the 31 gifts, they have the large tote bags and I guess the smaller tote bags. So this is like a little strap that goes on the handles. And then you could, uh, instead of just having the big open pouch thing, you've got uh, space, you've got these, so you can put your stuff in here. So, anyway, I already have one of these, and I don't need another one. I've had it for a long, long time. So, uh, this will be, so this will be four things. So, it's going to be the $30 store credit for one person. So, there's five gifts, but I am not going to, if there's only, say, if only one person enters, you will not win all five. You will win one. So, if five people enter, then I will give five of these away. If only two people enter, I will only give two of these away. If three people enter, I will give three away. If four people enter, I will give four away. If all five people enter or more, then five. So you get the idea. So I want to be clear so nobody misunderstands anything. All right, and so that's it for today, and I will see you in the next video, and what we're going to be doing is making little word embellishments for our crafting projects. Uh, for your card. So any paper crafting project, but we're going to be making our own word, tags, sentiments, dangles, whatever you want to use these for. And I'm going to show you how you do it yourself and what types of paper you can put them on and how to make them. So that is something because I desperately needed word tags. And you, I mean, so it's, it's just it's very easy to do. And we're going to do it um, with our stamps so your rubber stamps and so get all those words out and we're going to i'm going to show you exactly how you can make up a stash so it's going to be mass making of our word sentiments okay so that's it for today thank you so much for being here and i will see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>